came up here yesterday. Gary told me he was watching. Beth went back and made a beeline for JD. She always says hello to JD. And Gary said she walked up to JD and she said, JD, how is your father's wedding? Mm-hmm. And he was like, ah. Mm-hmm. Even Beth said it because I asked her about it later last night, and, and he was like, uh. All right, whatever. Oh. You know, uh, painful, painful. like he immediately gets like embarrassed or like can't like it's something he doesn't want to talk about. And so she says to him, "What did you wear? Did you end up wearing a suit?" He goes, oh, I, was, "I wore." This is the exact answer, Gary. If I have it wrong, so help me. Just interrupt. He goes, "I um, uh, I was whatever." <laughs> So, so Gee. Beth says a suit or whatever, because she says he peppers whatever in every with other ever. word. Yeah, with whatever. Whatever. We, we know that. Oh, what? This, this was the big thing. Beth it was such a, a nice question. She's just trying to make small talk. She goes, "Where'd you get the suit from?" Well, I'm getting there. Why are you rushing the story? Well, because I wasn't sure if you knew it. Uh, no, I believe me. I, don't, no. I, don't I know just, everything. Well, who knows what you? Mean? Your boss knows everything. This is like watching tennis with you two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never win. And one guy's one guy's Rod Laver, and the other one's Gary. Exactly. exactly. So anyway, so so uh, so she says to JD, "Oh, you wore a suit. What what was the suit like?" <laughs> so I don't know. Like he's like he, like it's like, could you please get away from me? You know, like like he he just someone's finally talking to yeah, this guy. Yeah, you're bothering me. She goes, "Did you bring a, a girl? Did you have a girl with you? Did you are you dating anyone?" Uh, you know, you know, I, you know, I'm, um, I, I tar, I tar. Huh? So she goes, what? She goes, he goes, I tar, I tar, I tar, I get tar. I, I what? I tar. I tar? I tar. Oh, I tar. <laughs> yeah, so. You're doing a great impression. What is that? That is a great impression. Yeah, you're doing just unfortunately. A, a, a spot on impression. It is, it. unfortunately. <laughs> if, if, you, if I had to guess who it was, I would get it right. Oh, Let me say, is that JD whatever. or Mario oh, Cuomo you're doing? All right, so <laughs> then, then she says to him, well, oh, you, so you got a suit. Where did you get your suit? I rented it. So she goes, what? I, I rented it. <laughs> oh, I did not sound this so, angry. So he goes, so she figured out, he says he rented his suit. She goes, oh, so you wore a tux, you rent a tux. I don't know. So she goes, what do you mean you don't know? <laughs> I don't know. I I, I, uh, I just rented it. He goes, no, he it was a suit. <laughs> no, it was a suit. So she goes, well, a tux is one you usually rent. I've never heard, you know, you're renting, renting a, suit. a suit. Your tux is, it's a tuxedo jacket and pants and. A cummerbund <laughs> and a shirt. I don't know what it was. <laughs> oh, was it a black tie affair? I don't know. Oh, my. I don't know. Black tie. Some people have black tie. Well, his, his best, so you rent it. So what was that? His best line was, like, because Beth and I were there, we'll go, we don't understand. Was it a tuxedo or was it a suit? And he goes, I don't know. I had a tie. And I go, but we, but I, I go, I never heard. Can you, you can't rent a suit, can you? He goes, I don't know. Like all of a sudden, we were the nutty ones. <laughs> well, I, guy, why are you rushing the story? No, that was good. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, because see, when I think of a tux, I think of like a bow tie type right. type of thing, and that that wasn't the case. But in the case, but, wait, but here's what's great about you. <laughs> let me let me tell you what is great about oh, you. Oh, great. What's great about you is like, a you don't know the difference between a tux and a suit. <laughs> B. You don't even know, like, like, like you went and rented a suit, and you don't even know, like, what you rented. Yeah, I mean, he was there, and he doesn't know what happened. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like, wow, you're the first-hand account of what happened in your life, and you don't even know what you did. And, I mean, can you really be that naive, or you're just, like, just so pained by conversation? That, well, no, well I, I, it's more than naivete, because, you know, I didn't, when I you think of a suit. <laughs> so you went to the, you went to, where did you go to get this suit? Do you know? Uh, some uh, shop in in Ohio. Okay, you walk into the a shop, new shop, and you said, "Look, I don't own a suit." Wow. Uh, my my, well, no, my, my my dad had to be sent. I got measured in the city somewhere, and he, I uh, sent the measurements to him, and they made this suit or whatever. Oh, they made a suit for you. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, or so or tux, whatever it is. Do you own the no, suit? They didn't. What? Don't no. you know what happens at a tuck shop? They don't make you a suit. They well, they, a... they they fitted it or whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, I know what goes on. Well, In other words, the suit wasn't made for you where you walked out home with the suit. You had to return no. the suit. Yeah, yeah. yeah so right. chances are it was a tux, I think. Yeah, no? well, it, you know, you said the cummerbund or whatever that thing is. It's a is. tux. Yeah, it's okay, tux. then it was a tux. You had a cummerbund? 
Uh, yeah. Oh, so that's a so tux. Okay, okay it, was it was a tux. Black tie like, wedding. Like, like I said, well, it was. <laughs> when I think of a tux, I told you, I think it's like the black bow tie and whatnot, but. That wasn't the case. So that's why I told them it yeah. was a suit. But now, after he, hearing this, I realize it was a tux. You rent it, well, when Beth says to you, you rented a tux, you can say, yes, of course. When do you ever have a cummerbund that isn't a tux? Because I don't, I, I'm not familiar with nice clothes like that. Nice you clothes. Know? I mean, you, you went into the store, the guy must have mentioned it's a tux. Well, uh, it was probably oh. on the front door. Hey, hey, you're not you? familiar with nice clothes? Mm. I appreciate the plug, but he has been wearing an Artie Lang sweatshirt he got on the internet. Since it's 1911. It's okay, he wears the same jacket, When's too? the last time you washed that I fucking thing? I don't know. Thing? You it's never jacket. gross, man. Howard, the, fu the funny thing about the, the whole... You're ruining the brand. The funny thing about the whole exchange with JD was, if it were anybody else, Beth said, what'd you wear? And the answer would be, I rented a tux. Right. And that was four seconds. But this right. went on for like two minutes. Well, yeah. two minutes, it, it really, we, no, we were like, we, don't, we, we were like, we don't understand. Where can you rent a suit? You're like, I don't know. All right. I don't know. It had stockings and a bra. I don't, I don't it, know. it lasted a minute and fifty five seconds longer than most of your sex experiences. Well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I, and also, the word whatever is peppered into the conversation almost every other word. So, <laughs> sorry. No, I mean, <laughs> it's just it's just funny. Every conversation with you is so painful. I feel for you, man. If JD wrote a book. Whatever is the title. Right. That's that's you. That's his title. I don't know. <laughs> like whatever. <laughs> like whatever. Yeah, I was or you know. I was talking to Beth this morning Ooh. about JD, and I said, well, oh, geez. I go, oh, for Christ's sake. I said, I can never. You know, I was tired as hell because I stayed up till you know, 1030. <laughs> And uh, I just said, how the hell am I ever going to leave? I'm, like, what's J.D. going to do I'll, if I leave? I'll be fine. Said, He's going to be in Walmart. <laughs> you know? well, I'll be somewhere if I have to be, you know? You I got to tell you, J.D. I know where hardware is. J.D.'s been working for me, and if I stay alive and stuff and keep working... I would have him do anything for me. He's, oh, he's good, great. He's good. You know, he's always good at what he does. I, I've made some connections here. My, with who? Like, let's uh, say I uh, leave. Where would you go? They'll hate I, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, uh, sorry. Uh, I, you know, I know Gary, John. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be John's assistant when he's teaching current events at Harvard? Oh, that's right. If he's teaching, well, then, you know, <laughs> who knows? So I was said to Beth this morning. I have morning, other connections and stuff. I don't know. I was kind of like, I said to Beth this morning, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I go, if I really want to leave, like, what's a guy like JD going to do? <laughs> so she goes, I don't know. I go, he wants to be a director. <laughs> and she goes, a director? He's got to speak English first. Yeah, how would he ever yell out a command uh, on the set? Well, uh, you got to cut. <laughs> but how would you cut? Right, uh, have you seen uh, any of uh, the videos I've done on Artie's website? Yeah, you know what? Right. He, he knows how to, like, he just takes the video hmm. and edits it. And, like, he knows what it, how to keep a joke in there. Like, he knows how to edit a joke. He knows what's funny. And, I, and it's impressive. I mean, he's a smart kid, but... You but he's kids. not directing. Well, no, that's what directing is. No, I mean, that's it, editing. No, it's you, shooting well, and then editing, you know. But if he's got a script and he's got to explain to somebody what the oh. motivation of the scene is. Then he's fucked. No. <laughs> but uh, I'm talking about reality TV he could direct. <laughs> okay. Which is uh, a lot of money in. I said, I'm a G. <laughs> I'm a G. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, yeah, JD, wanna... do you have anything to say to this prick? <laughs> I'm a JD. <laughs> so, no, I don't want to be any G. <laughs> yeah, JD, and how was the life? <laughs> I don't know how JD would fight. So, so I just got nervous and I just said, oh my God. I Fucking know. ass. JD, you know, what's going to be? But how would you can't I, think like that? Because yes. what are any of us going to do? I mean, yeah, well, you were, you know, we were all doing something before we met you. Robin and Fred will be all right. But I'm saying, like, if you really think about it, like, what is anybody going to do? Everybody we'll, was doing something before they met. We'll work. We'll, we'll be JD, right. he, you know. He'll go back to full sale. <laughs> I'm here for my master's degree. He'll go back to full loser. <laughs> and Beth was telling me your schedule again, and it's really brutal. I mean, what time? What, t tell everyone your day. Uh, that annoying. Uh, I I um, come to work. I try and get to work around you know midnight. Good. Lord. And um, and See, I stay here until the end of. Yeah, lately, I've been leaving like right after the show, just so I don't you know because I can. Oh, you're fired. 
<laughs> but, so uh, he he gets here around midnight, yeah. and then Beth figured it out for me because she figures that's that's her job. She figures stuff out for me because I'm too <laughs> fucking stupid. She says, you know, JD comes in. She goes, he's, he doesn't want to be on the subway late, and he doesn't want to come in early in the morning. Something traumatic must have happened to him. I go, oh, yeah. yeah, it yeah. did. Yeah. He got mugged. He took his iPod <laughs> with horrible music. They did him a favor, but they took his iPod. <laughs> and uh, I said, yeah, he's, he is afraid. I don't blame him. To be on the subway. I'm, I'm afraid to ride it in the middle of the day. I know, I know. It's horrible. <laughs> Dude, listen, you and then get I a go, fake... Oh, f- um, and then I go, oh, I wish J.D. made enough money so that he could live in Manhattan and <laughs> he wouldn't have to deal with that. And I get all upset. Uh, stop. Howard, I don't I'm even want to tell you. I'm sitting here looking at him. I say, now, J.D. wants a woman in yeah. his life and he's wearing a Miss Butterface <laughs> we all do. t-shirt. We all want a woman in our life. I'm Except Mike Morales. Robin, Even I'm not, what he wears says stay away from me. I'm, I'm not. I'm at work. I'm not going out on a date or something. Yeah, but who do you see but the interns? Uh, well, J.D., come in, in your date. date them anyway. Come in in your date clothes. <laughs> <laughs> J.D., you know, Robin makes a good point. <sighs> you know, yeah, it's true. You're not dating anyone here, so you could wear whatever you want. But what if a girl became interested in you? Here? I wear let's decent say Bryce, clothes. Let's say Bryce Dallas Sunday. Howard was coming in today, which she is, and she is not. Let's say she wasn't married, <laughs> and you walk in in that schlubby outfit. How are you ever going to get a girl like her? Oh, uh, I don't know. Then is <laughs> then is answer this question. What if you could fly? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Artie makes a point. I mean, you're wearing the Artie Lang sweatshirt. <laughs> well, I. And I don't know where those pants came from. I don't know who designed that. It just showed up on the internet. He buys it. What's wrong with these pants? I don't know what color that is. I don't know anything about those pants. They don't say anything. Well, we wanted to say, you know. I don't they know. say stay away is what they uh, say. They well, say maybe from you. She's maybe your girl. point of view. She's a girl. She's telling you. Mm-hmm. She's a she's a woman. She's a you know. She's uh, a, a uh, respectable woman right. or whatever. Oh, so you don't want one of those. <laughs> at, at, no, time, I mean, yeah, you are at times, unfortunately, and this is a fact of life, at times you have to listen to a book. <laughs> if you want to get one. Right. Yeah, right. Uh, all right, but anyway, do me a favor. Yes. Um, <laughs> try, to, try to answer in full sentence. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> all right. Howard, you. if I even told you, I, do, I guess maybe you don't mind, but do you know the part of New York City he lives in? <laughs> no. Can I say or no? You don't want to. Well, I, everyone knows I live in Brooklyn, but but, but yeah. the part of Brooklyn. Well, towards Coney Bad Island. Stuff? He lives in Coney Island. Oh, he lives there. That's towards Coney. Island. I mean, that is like that's that is no like, man's land. That's where. Remember the movie The Warriors? Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> do, it's a long bop back to Coney. Do you, you, you're, you're, he lives in a really bad area. Well, and it's it, a long subway ride. Do you want to know who I see in my neighborhood all the time <laughs> riding his bike? Is Jeff the Vomit guy? <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Coney Island is the end of the subway line. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, Jeff, I, I, I don't know. Is it me? I like JD. Is it me? Jeff the vomit guy lives in your neighborhood? <laughs> well, I don't know if he lives in my neighborhood, but I see him at, at the corner store and stuff sometimes, yeah. and I, I pray that he doesn't recognize me. The only one he guy who lives in his neighborhood is Jeff the vomit guy. <laughs> he hasn't yet. So. Wow. But I see him riding his bike around. And he, <laughs> and he doesn't even work. He's on SSI or something. <laughs> Uh, I think he lives. I think Jeff the vomit guy lives with his dad. Uh, <laughs> he lives with his dad and the vomit guy. We got to survive. I'm, you know, I'm living. I'm all right. I'm. Uh, what do you have? A roommate? Yes. Yeah. You want to make some extra money? Put on a wig and go throw up on Jeff. <laughs> Don't you think? Is there a way that you could move into Manhattan if you had like two roommates? Maybe you get a cheap place. Uh, yeah. Trump and Melania. Not that there's a. Uh, not that there's really cheap places. No. But Ganji managed to live in Manhattan. Grillo right. managed to live in Manhattan. Well, Ganji's making thirty-four grand a year now. But right. even <laughs> before that, they all managed to live in Manhattan. KC. What I'm getting here on this end is that JD's been offered to live in Manhattan like a thousand times. But the problem is, or, or Hoboken or whatever, he can live with Steve the intern or anybody. But he doesn't want to live with anybody. What's wrong but with Hoboken? He Hobo? has a roommate. But you have a roommate. I, I do have a roommate. So the, why would you go to Hoboken? Well, I, I, it's I I don't know I, you got I I don't know Why you put me on the you? spot about something I don't I don't know. Listen, <laughs> this is not put. This is called conversation. Oh, it's not, uh, you okay. See, that's your problem. Like even when you're talking to Beth, you feel like you're on the spot. People making <laughs> <Wow>. conversation. <laughs> what is it? No, but people making conversation with you. In other words, we're trying to help you. Yes. If you have an opportunity to live in Hoboken, which is a nicer neighborhood, mm-hmm. and and people here are saying, hey, you want a roommate? Uh, I mean, you have a roommate. I so. know, but I it's living with someone. 
uh, that, that I haven't lived with before. Like, I've lived with this guy for a while now, and I'm comfortable with that. He's a good fucker. <laughs> oh. No. But, uh, you know, so it's, it's uh, I'm very bad. What, what, why are you comfortable with him? I mean, wouldn't you be comfortable living with, like, I don't know who's in Hoboken. But... I don't know. I, it's just, I'm very, uh, I, I know myself, I'm not... Um, a comfortable change a whole lot. Like I a see. drastic change, I'm very... Even well, if the change would be better. Even if you, you meant Probably, a better yes. neighborhood and a nicer lifestyle, you you won't do it. Uh, maybe. I mean, it just... It, hey, you could live with me in Hoboken if you would split the mortgage. Can you can you afford <laughs> forty grand a month? <laughs> you know, I'm afraid that JD is one of those people who would live with a dead body for, like, years. Oh, God, Robert. Well, because his roommate's been doing it. How his roommate's been living with a dead body. I'm not coming body. off very well. Is your roommate, like, a, uh, is your, like I, I know that you don't make a lot of money. Your roommate must not make a lot of money. He, he makes more than me, actually. He, yeah. he edits stuff. So. Now, he's one of those guys who's on the beach with a metal detector. <laughs> Are you? Are he you? He found a watch already. He's doing very well. And I know you don't get many chicks. Is he? Is he banging chicks and stuff? He's got a girlfriend. Oh no, kidding. <laughs> so he fucks. I listen. So he's over there no. fucking and stuff, and you have to listen in, huh? Uh, no, no, not not lately, at least. Yeah. Do you think there's any chance that, like, you know, this kid has any problem with leaving his girlfriend alone with JD for like no. weeks? No. <laughs> no. But you know, JD's schedule, man. When he works with me on the weekends. We'll fly home on a Sunday, and it's tiring, and I'm upset because I got to get up the next day. And I go, so JD, you know, I said, I said my driver. I always tell him that is this, and I said my driver will take you to Coney Island. He's like, nah, I got to go to work. He goes to work. He comes straight here. Yeah, he does a good job. So Howard was saying when Beth was, came over to talk to you, it kind of seems like you're bothered by it. No, I'm not the bothered, case? but no, I'm not bothered by it at all. But he thinks he seems to think like you're like the way you're you were speaking to her like you're like oh well, I don't know you know like, you don't well, want to be bothered. Well, 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 first of all, he was hearing it second, third hand from uh, Mr. Gary Delavate over there, um, and and her probably. But I wasn't I wasn't angry or anything. If I was coming off like that, that wasn't how I was meaning to come off. I was just you know. I was just talking, you know what I'm saying? Do you know. like when Beth comes over and talks to you? Sure. Yeah. Something new, right? <laughs> Some, something new, I guess. I mean, yeah, just whatever. I'll talk to her if she wants to talk to me. I, 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 I tend to do a, uh, my, my attitude is speak unless spoken to, so that's, that's sort of my motto. I, I don't talk to anyone unless they talk to me first, really. What are you doing for the big uh, holiday weekend, Robin? Oh, I'm traveling. Florida again? No. Where are you going? Doesn't matter where I'm going. Well, what's going on with you? You're clamming I up on me. I don't necessarily like to tell you where I'm going. What are you up to? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> you, you're giving me this look. I you mean, won't like give what? us a destination? Where are you going? I'm going to Arizona. I'll give you the state. Where are you going? To one of your spas? Hmm. Could be, I don't yeah. know. And now, with the name of the guy you're fucking in Arizona, <laughs> John McCain. <laughs> is this the new guy? What? Is that Not why you're claiming up? I no. I've I've kind of put things together and realized yeah, it was a new yeah, guy. Yeah, you're, you're putting things yeah. together, Mr. Col Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes there. figured it out. <laughs> Wait a minute, Arizona, Robin, are you fucking Shaquille O'Neal? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I mean, really, what's going on with you? Why wouldn't you even tell me where you're going? I mean, what do you think's going to happen? I just like to, you know, I just like to do my thing. Yeah, I know you like to do your thing, but since when do you clam up on me? Well, Bother we're on me. the air. I'm not just talking to you. What are you up to, though? I mean, are you spying? Yeah, I'm oh. spying. You're spying? <laughs> spying. Are you spying? Are you going to a spa where you'll enema and colonic? <laughs> I won't be enema-ing at a spa. Oh. Uh. Arizona's nice. What's I the weather like this time of year? I don't know. I got to check. It's about 204. Yeah. It should be nice, though, don't you think? But it's dry. Yeah, I love Arizona. I do, too, man. I, I really fell in love with it from gigging out there. I no. love it. Yeah. yeah, it's one of my favorite places. You going away with someone? No. You're going to be alone all week? I'm going to visit people. Mm. Who are you visiting? Who do you know in Arizona? I know lots of people in Who Arizona. Who do you know? What is this? What do you mean? Who do now I know? I know my upset. friends in Arizona. Who's your friend? I don't even know these people. Don't fuck you one don't of the Diamondbacks. Know these people. Have I ever heard of any of them? No. What? I have some friends who moved to Arizona. You don't particularly know them. Who is this? Who is this? What do you mean? How did you meet them? I meet people all the time. Is this from the Howard? coven? 
The coven, yes. Oh. No, those some they're, of the women you used to they, chant in the woods they with? They have cauldrons in their backyard. No, are those the women that you used to chant in the woods with no. who moved away? No. Oh. No Dario Schwein people? No. <laughs> People Are you in- going to Area 51? <laughs> yes, I'm going to be at Area 51 inspecting. What's the going UFO. on with you? Why so secretive all of a sudden? Like, is something? Are you up to something weird? I'm not up to anything. Is there something you don't want me to I know? I just like to be able to move around without. No, I understand that, but scrutiny. I'm saying. I'm just trying to get a general idea of what you're up to. A general idea is I'm yeah. traveling to Arizona. Have you discovered some new health regimen? No. Are you on to some brand new thing that's going to make you even foxier? <laughs> no. No? No. What's the new thing? I mean, you got to be getting bored with Dr. Ronnie soon. What do you mean, getting bored with Dr. You Ronnie? You know you're always on to something new with race car driving Dr. Ronnie. It's always some new thing. There's something new. I, I sense something new is going Here on. Here we go with this, this yeah. examination. I'm just living my life. Do you feel strange going to Arizona knowing they don't celebrate Martin Luther King Day? Sometimes. You do? Yeah. I'm I like, do too. What is up with this state? Really, that's why I go. <laughs> Are you going and to Arizona? I hate liking a state so much. Because you're planning that. a big surprise for me and it has something to do with Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> Doing research. I think, are you getting a Grand Canyon enema? <laughs> if you get the Grand Canyon enema, which only a few people have ever had. Yeah. What, do you know how many, there are, there's probably three people in the whole world who can handle the entire <laughs> Grand, Grand Canyon. Canyon filled with yeah. water and then wow. they empty it into your bowel. Yeah, if the Grand Canyon was filled with bad shit, the toxins you have in you, like there's doctors who can just shove a pipe in there and get it out. <laughs> are you buying me Phoenix for my next <laughs> That's it. I'm going to check on how that the negotiation is going. Hey, guess what? They're gonna the Cardinals are the Super Bowl champs, so maybe you could have sex with one of the Cardinals. Mm, that'd be an honor. All right, listen. Uh, here is Eaton Beaver getting on. How are you doing? What are you doing for the vacation? I am doing. Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? I am doing absolutely nothing. That's Good. what I thought. The best thing I've ever heard. It's the same thing I always do. Yeah, but that's great. Uh, Relax. But I am flying in my own Native American shaman from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> to teach me colonics uh, and uh, how to make those little rubber tom toms. Oh, shaman. I have never uh, heard of those two together, shamans and colonics. No. Do you know any shamans? I do. <laughs> I knew it. Of course she does. What do you think it's enema? <laughs> how did you meet your first shaman? And what is a shaman? I don't Explain really know what a shaman is, but they call shaman themselves shaman. Shaman is a holy man. I've met uh, a few. I know some Native Americans. Have you received blessings from them? No. No? No. Have you ever been part of a ceremony with a shaman? Have I ever been part of a ceremony with a shaman? I know she has. No, I have not. I don't believe it. I have not. Shamans are great. A shaman claimed uh, he could uh, cure my father, and then my father died a week later. Right. Well, shamans are like these. I'm sure it was. Shamans are like these wise. Holy men, you're right. They're guys who basically had nothing going on and they be, they call themselves shamans and then they st- convince hot chicks that uh, <laughs> they know something and they, and some of them actually fall for it. They're bullshitters. <laughs> These yeah. shamans are just my buddies. They're called sitting bullshitter. Everybody around you so right. nosy. We want to know what you're up to. Yeah, and so I have to comply? <laughs> well, it'd be nice if you let us, let us in on it. Uh, all right, I'll tell you how you can get in on it. How's that? Pay for it. Well, I'm sure I can't afford that on the salary. So. I'll tell you anything you want to know if you cough up some bucks. <laughs> but you're, all you're saying is you're going to Arizona? That's right, and it's That's a big it. state. Just try to find me there, why don't you? Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Good Lord. Good what, morning, Howard. Whose what, voice is what he here? What depressed you today? You I sound, just got off the elliptical machine. <laughs> hey. You sound horrible. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Bob Stern was on, um, for Mike and Julia. He's drinking again, Yeah, Abby. what the heck? No. No, I'm not. I went to the dentist yesterday. I got five cavities. Oh. And I only have 17. It's hard to believe that you only ha- that, that you that have five cavities. you only ca- had five cavities. I know you take such good care of yourself. <laughs> Why do you have to say that? Well, I only got, you know, um, one cavity for, for, um. What's he doing? For half a 
good year. Do you have the TV on? Is that the problem? No, all not. Imagine the depressing scene going on in that trailer. Really depressing. Where'd he go? He left. He's turning down the dehumidifier. All right, here we go. What All were right. you doing? I, I wanted to tell you about Beth. Yeah? Yeah, it's um, David Beth Stern. And, um, you know, the, the um, TV Guide. And the TV Guide? Yeah. It has it as Beth Stern. Yeah, uh, that's good. I like that. That's all I wanted to tell you. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Hey. Hey. Oh, there's something else you want to tell us? Yeah. I got to go, though. I got to take a break. Oh. Oh, We can't talk. What? We can't talk. Well, you can't talk. It's just taking an inordinate amount of time to get out of thought. (laughs) It's taking you a long, long time. So? So can you just say what is on your mind, and then I can hang up? You have any games? (laughs) <laughs> uh, you want to play a game? Sure. All right. Guess what this sound is. Can you spell cemetery? <laughs> you hang it up on me. No, 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 no. I'll play a game with you. I'm going to I'm going to give you a shot at $500 cash. Courtesy of Steven Singer Jewelers. Visit ihatestevensinger.com. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play password with Bigfoot. How's that? Good. All right. You think you can do that? Um, I'll try. All right. I'm going to give you an example of how this works. Robin, I'm going to let you play first so that Jeff the Drunk can hear how the game is played. All right. Okay. So uh, we said to Bigfoot, uh, we're going to play Password with you. Bigfoot will give you a clue, Robin, and see if you can guess. What he's trying to say? That's right. And then Jeff will play after you. All right. All right. So here we go. Um, checkers. All right. The first clue is checkers. Checkers. Uh... Chess? There you go. You got it. Okay. That's the answer. It's that simple. All right, Jeff, you see how Robin yeah, did it? I hear you. Okay. For, <laughs> for example, uh, like his next clue for chess was... Battleship? So he's speaking yeah. a different game. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so it was either chess or World War II. All right, here we go. Here you go, Jeff. You get okay. the word, you get $500. All right. We're playing the Bigfoot password game. Okay. Ape. All right, he said, what did he say? Ape. 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 Gorilla? Uh, that is not right. Let's continue. Chimpanzee? Monkey? No. The correct answer is Gary. No. Harry Mann. What's that? Oh, Jesus. Harry Mann. Harry Mann. Is it caveman? Is no. Caveman. No. no. I said caveman. Caveman. What do you want? Yeah. Howard, that's column B, right? You're going down? You got it all set up wrong. I had to no. just skip around. Oh, because I have more straight down the line. Did yeah. you see your answer key says B? What does your answer key say for B? No, I, Sally, I know how to do it. Yeah, but what's the matter? Jeff said gorilla. No, he did say gorilla. Yeah, he did. Yeah, oh, you didn't hear him. Okay. He said ape. No, 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 Jeff said gorilla. But... All right, you got five hundred dollars. Okay. Then. Uh, then I did do it right. I didn't, I didn't fuck it up. All right. I... Well, no, you did fuck it up, but it's okay. How did I fuck it up? Well, you see, you fucking it up, Sal. It's okay. It's all right. But in this case, I didn't fuck it up. All right, all right. I'm not gonna. I don't want to get sidetracked. I don't know. How I fucked it up. I did everything. Trust me, you fucked it up. It's just the way you you put everything in order. So Z, yeah, gorilla was his first. When you make a list, after A comes B, not Z. Right. Do you know that? I put in from. You, you did it wrong. No, no, no. From A to Z, I put it in from A to Z, and then I cherry picked the best ones, and oh, okay. that particular well, file was a Z you file. You ruined it for me. Because oh. after after A, I go right down to the next one, and it says Z now. Now I'm seeing it's it. It should say okay. It should say B. Right, Sal, you did it wrong, but it's okay. I'm right. trying to get past what you do. I'm trying to ignore you. All right. Jeff, you did win. I, I. It's just very difficult when things are wrong. Very good. Oh, the Baba Booey. It was Gorilla was the answer. Yeah, and that was. The I, I, I was so busy that. trying to find my buttons that I missed him saying gorilla. I thought he said ape. No, that yeah. was the first clue. All right. Okay. Howard, you got it right. I wanted to thank Jimmy Kimmel for showing that Baba Booey throw. 
I, I, hold on, okay? You, you've got a prize from Steven Singer Jewelers. Visit hey. IHateStevenSinger.com. Have a good vacation. All right, good. I'll pick that dish bag right up. Thanks. <laughs> I had a better one to play. Oh. But Sal, if, right after A, Sal put Z. <laughs> Do you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I hear what you say. You know what? I don't, and that's why Sal... Uh, fucked up it. I actually don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't, I, if you ran this show, you'd know that the easiest way would to do would be A would follow B would follow C would follow D. <laughs> right, I know that. But said he has A Z. Like one of the keys. Does, yeah, uh, yeah uh, it's all completely whacked. But he's out. making up answering keys now. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just whatever he touches is impossible to decipher. He's so screwy, I can't even tell Well, him. you're getting a view of his mind. Right. It's so disorganized and so <laughs> frightening. What a great view. Here, for example, here, try, here's, here's the way. This is the one I was going to give Jeff the drunk. Um, cocaine? And you want me to answer? Yeah. Artie. Uh, no, that's that, wrong. That's so depressing, Rob, and I'm sorry. Okay, cocaine. Like uh, black people. How's that sound? All right, here we go. Bike it in? Drugs? No. Perks? Perks? I guess Percocet. I know that, Fred, but I'm like, all right, they're all drugs. They're all opiates. They're no, all... they're not. Not No? I wouldn't know that then. Cocaine. So, cocaine is not an opiate. You're right. All right so here's uh, your next clue. Illegal drugs. I don't know. Here you go. The password was heroin. Heroin. See? Oh, that I should have said one. another drug. I was going to give Jeff that one. It was a little... Uh, yeah. So, little in other harder. words, Howard, explain what Sal did. So, then, so then so in after other words, B, I have a page, it said Z, yeah, heroin. A Z, no, it said Z, gorilla. Go it, oh, he oh, went, oh. You know, so I was, like, looking for the heroin one, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. They're not matched up. Gary and Sal are yelling at each other right now, <laughs> and they're blaming each other. But I'm yelling at Sal because he's. He, I'm trying he's to explain. Retarded. I know. I just tried to explain him without yelling at him. I tried to explain to him where it went wrong. How you don't care about different letters that he cherry picked them that it should just be A B C D E. Right. F. Let me and worry he's, about he's it. He's fighting me, and I'm like Sal. He's like, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. And then of course, after I told him to get out, and then he comes back, and then he goes. You're right, but you know he he just wouldn't listen. I'm just saying, don't get defensive. Let me explain to you what was wrong with this, and, and finally, after he got fights with you, then he listens. He's loony, <laughs> except his name isn't Looney Skip Rooney. He's Looney Sal Guvenal Looney Sal Guvenali. <laughs> He's Looney Sal Rooney. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's. Uh... Sal puts together games like Gary pitches. <laughs> <laughs> With the game. Okay, so I triple checked this game. I wanted to make sure that it ran completely smooth. So here's the Bigfoot cave in front of you. I want you to take a look at the screen. Let the audience see the screen, please. You have blocks and colors. Gary said put them in colors. Okay, so I saved the files from A to Z. Now, if you're Howard, what you're going to do is look, you have A, block of A, a block of B, a block of C, a block of D then a white block of Z and a, a gray block of K. So if you're Howard, and as I explained to Gary, go, here they are. Gary took a look at it, he hit, he, he hit a few of the files, and he's like, fine, okay? I did go to Gary, I did show it to Gary. Gary explained it to Howard. I looked at it, and I saw A, B, C, and D, and I thought it was right. Then I saw these ones on the bottom. I didn't notice that that said Z and K. So, I, like, I wasn't mad at Sal after Howard got mad at him. I brought him in and I said, you should just make an A, B, C, D, E, and F because that's the answer key. Howard doesn't, in, in other words, Sal might have gone through 20 uh, questions with Bigfoot and he might have A and B and C. Howard doesn't give a fuck that the 26th best one is K or Z. You know, just put them in alphabetical order. And so Sal got very, um, he was very resistant and he was, you know, uh, very angry. He's like, oh, I fucking did what you told me to do. I'm like, no, you did the colors right. And I said, just in the future, do the letters. I said, you have to make it as simple as you can for Howard. So here's the game. Let's say, for example, you're Howard, you hit the clue. Clue, you hit clue number one. Checkers. You hit clue number one. Um, checkers. All right, and then you go to A2. Battleship. And you go to clue three. I think. And, Wobbly. and then the last one says answer. Okay, so Howard did that. But instead of Howard going over to B, he dropped down to this block here, to the Z block in white. I don't know why, you just for A, B, C, D. So when he hit Z and, and Jeff the Drunk said gorilla, Howard didn't hear gorilla. So I ran in thinking that I wrote something wrong on the answer key. 
you know? I also wrote an answer key to go to these answers. So Harry goes, no, I didn't hear Gorilla, but you screwed up anyway. And he was like belligerent, you know, and he's like, you know, fuck this. So I, I got to the point where I go, you got to get the fuck out of my office because you're just not going to listen today. You're just not listening. I can't have a conversation with you if you're just going to not listen. So then he came back and goes, oh, I'm sorry, or what is it? Then I told him, and then he's like, you're right, you know. But he still doesn't think I'm right. He just told me I was right, to, so I'd leave him alone. What Gary was yelling at me about is I went to Gary and said, Gary, it's, it's color coordinated. And he was like, you don't understand. This should have been E. What don't you get? You're not listening to me. I can't throw a pitch, and I'm going to take it out on you. Now, this should have been E, and that should have been D. But what freaking difference does it make? It's color coordinated, and it's in numbers. Listen, I'm not saying you're a huge fuck up. I'm just saying make it as easy as you can for Howard. So instead of saying, in the future, I understand, I'll make it as easy as I can for Howard, he's got to still go back and defend that he was right, and that, that ship has sailed. The problem is, probably when I was explaining to Gary, he was just, you know, replaying that fucking gay pitch of his in loop mode in his baboon head. And he wasn't listening to me, because this is so simple. But again, in the end, I screwed up. And I have to live with it. It sucks, but I have to live with it. I screwed up. If Howard said it, and fucking Fafa Flow High, the, the dumb pitching monkey says it, then I lose. But I want the audience to see this and say, hey... I mean, it, could this work, or did I screw up? I don't know. You guys, you, you guys figure it out. Yeah, Artie's dying in the corner. What's happening? Are you all right? Wow. <laughs> you need help? Do you need help? A piece of toast went down the wrong. Do you oh, need yeah. a Heimlich? You want a Heimlich? Uh, <coughs> that was good. Throw it up. I got it out. It's out? <laughs> Give him the squeeze. Give him the squeeze of life, Jason. If you touch me, I'll kill you. <laughs> a man is squeezing. Want me to squeeze you? I'll seriously? squeeze your package. <laughs> Give me the nod. I'm okay with that. Squeeze you? <laughs> wow. Dude. Wait a minute. Wait. Go like this. <laughs> what is that going to do? <laughs> All right. I Shh. think I got it. Wait. It's you know what you know what like uh, like you know toast. <laughs> Thanks, Jason, for adjusting my mic. You. <laughs> we don't want to miss you. <laughs> choke on the microphone. <laughs> Saving my life, you. If you're gonna fat choke. Typist. <laughs> choke but, on the but, microphone. I, I, uh, uh, you know, like toast has just all that crumbs, and I can't get the, all the crumbs. All right. It. I'm sorry. I think that was you getting the last bit of heroin out of your system. <laughs> <laughs> this is me saying I'm done with the Jason John argument. <laughs> Yeah, all right. No, no, no. I, I, Thank you. Uh, all right. You calm down and just keep quiet for Can five minutes. Can I just leave the room for one second? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> He's making me cough. <laughs> oh, my wow. goodness. What's going on? <laughs> you okay? Yeah, good. Just go out there and, and stay out there. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's die. He's on fire. <laughs> I can hear him in the hall. Since he since he got off heroin, he's a bundle of energy. He never had that problem when he was on heroin. <laughs> when he let heroin, he was fine. <laughs> well, that's one way to get out of the show. Oh. Oh. What's going on? Not that I just got something. It's, I'm all right. I'm not choking, but I, I can't stop coughing because... What's that? Coffee. Well, that's not going to work. No, stop, stop, stop. Yes, it'll work. Stop. Like, drink water. Man. Don't touch my coffee. I'm a helicopter mic, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm okay. I just gotta fucking get yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, you look it. <laughs> I I was eating toast, dry rye toast with no butter. And, um, you know, toast breaks up into crumbs. Is this a two camera shoot, really? I mean, um, and it just got caught in my throat, and I couldn't stop coughing. That's it. And I'm done now. All right. You two Over faggots coffee. can go fuck yourselves. How's that There's fucking sound? Hey, come here, dude. All right. You okay? Ted, great shirt. Congra Same. Congratulations on losing the Masters. What, what is that? What is that? I lost the Masters. No, but it looks like uh, it's a golf shirt. You called it. But you don't golf. N but you don't rock and roll. <laughs> what? Uh, yes, I do. I do rock and roll actually. Oh, well, not anymore. I'll be rock and roll rock tonight. And roll tonight. Yeah, be rock and roll this morning. Oh, all right. Yeah, but I mean, you could you could still wear a shirt that indicates something that you used to do, and you like you could wear. I played a, golf for high school. But you could wear a shirt with my a, high with a picture of you sucking a cock. I could. You stopped doing that. that. Like he stopped that, but he could still <laughs> wear <laughs> be, <laughs> because he's still known. I gave as a, that up for Len. You're still known as a cock sucker. <laughs> I'm glad to see he's better. <laughs>